Hey guys, you're watching Let's Talk About Prepping. I'm Tyler, your host, and in this video, I'm going to talk about an animal dying. So if that bothers you, you might want to click off and then reconsider coming back because we talk about billions of humans dying here. But anyways, no, this is a real bird, uh, not a girl with daddy issues. So I was driving to Living the Dream Homestead the other day, and as I was flying along, doing about 50, uh, I saw a songbird in the middle, in the island, between the two lanes, uh, and it was just sort of hopping along towards my car, you know, and I was sort of like, don't hop under my car, little bird. As I got closer, I saw that it actually had a broken wing. It was bent backward in the wrong direction, and that was sad enough. Um, it almost did hop under my tire, but as I approached, it sort of stopped, and then a good distance back behind me there was a pickup truck and I watched this bird as it hopped perfectly timed to hop right under the tire of the truck um, it looked like the bird hopped into place and then waited for the perfect moment to hop right up under the tire of that truck and kill itself and I know that that wasn't the case that would be crazy to think that the bird was trying to commit suicide because it decided that worth life wasn't worth living with a broken wing but our brains seek patterns and try to make things make sense and that is directly what my brain thought and I sort of had to resist the urge to think I just saw a bird mercy kill itself so I don't think that's what happened I think that the bird was just uh, wildly in pain and didn't know what it was doing but it did get me thinking as I'm prone to do uh, whenever I'm thinking about something and just sort of turn it towards prepping. And it did get me thinking because sometimes we touch on the subject of uh, mercy killing in this community. There are a lot of things that without modern medicine we have no ability to take care of. Especially without even pre-modern medicine. We don't have those things that a doctor might have done to alleviate suffering from a gut shot wound. I mean, we still have them, but each of us individually may not. So if you get shot in the stomach, if you have some kind of mortal injury that there is no chance you're going to recover from, but every chance that you're going to have weeks of absolute agony, uh, where do you draw the line? Where do you draw the line with elderly family members? Um, it is a hard call to make, and I really don't think it's one that you can truly make until you're in the moment, and it's one that you'll know when the moment comes. Uh, but I'm not just trying to be using shock value here. This is something that we touch on pretty often, and in a lot of situations where you're cut off from having somebody to help you, uh, you do have to ask yourself those kinds of things. Maybe some people, that's a hard no, you would never kill somebody, you will always give them the chance to live longer and every second of life is precious. Um, some people have reassured me that there are some things worse than death. And some of those things are dying slowly and surely and painfully. Um, so those were my thoughts. And I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Um, let's try to be pretty coherent with it. I don't necessarily think anybody benefits from loose and easy talk. Like, oh, of course you just put people down. I'd like to hear a pretty good discussion on, you know, real in the moment, what it would be like and what you think you would do, where the line is. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you're all doing well out there. Everybody stay safe.